Hello, hello, and welcome to part two of the Crazy Town Podcast. <laughs> Fuck it, do it live. <laughs> My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with <laughs> TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, we are doing this today again, and I like it. TNT, D I N O M I G H T. Did you just do a little dance for me? I did, dude. Did, I did you just do you. a little dance? Yeah, we're doing part two of Fucking Do It Live. Normally, we have some structure. This, we don't. So, uh, you're welcome. If you're, uh, <laughs> if you're watching us on YouTube, Crazy Town Media, subscribe, iTunes, Spotify, Twitch, TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town, all that ish, dude. Yep. It's all happening. Yeah. Um, how, how was your day? I mean, was this part two? We just finished talking about some no, stuff. I mean, my day was, was great. My, day, my night's great, dude. I had some whiskey. Yeah. How hanging was your, out. Dude. How was your day? Yeah. We recorded some videos. Yeah, we recorded some videos, dude. Yeah. Um. How do you How do you feel about recording videos? Uh, you know, dude, I really like it. <laughs> it's you know, it's weird. It's like. You know, they talked about when we were doing improv, like, you're, some days you're going to be like, I don't want to fucking go to improv, and you're going to go, and you're going to be like, man, I'm really glad I did do that. Exactly. But I never not wanted to go to improv. I loved it. So yeah. I did not. But some days, I'm like, you know, I just don't feel like recording videos, and then every time we start, by the time I'm done, I feel good. I know. It, it, dude, it's got to be cathartic for you. It's cathartic for me. To a certain extent, for sure, because I, I basically I can spend an entire day not speaking to another human being, <laughs> right? And that that's that's partially by design. But and then I come out here and I speak to you, and it it, it is it is it is refreshing. Yeah, dude, it's, it's refreshing. It's well, you know, it's also nice to to speak to another human being who is like. A normal person <laughs> who has a good oh, thought whoa. process. <laughs> whoa, you flatter me, sir. Yeah, a normal person. No, but like, but Holy you know what I mean? Just like, it's like we talk about, we don't, it's nice to talk about nothing. Yeah. Sometimes we're like the Seinfeld of conversation. Wow. You are just dishing out the compliments. <laughs> Can I please be George Costanza? You are definitely more George than me. <laughs> no, but like we it's, I'm it's, Jerry if anything. Yeah, dude. You're George. Who would no. I be George? No, I'm not George. Who are you? You think you're Jerry? Mm, you who? can be Jerry. I'll who be George. Who would I be? Who would I be? Would I be George? <laughs> you're either you're either George or Kramer. Ooh, hey, look, hey, post post racism. Kramer. Wait, no, character <laughs> or care, pre, pre care, no character, not person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like no, I could go. see myself being more like Kramer the character. Yes, but not Kramer the person. No, no, <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. You I'm two, not. you two got similar mannerisms, not beliefs. Yeah, ex <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> mannerisms, not beliefs. I like it. All right. It's like truth, not facts. I you picture myself as more of a George, honestly. Because oh, yeah, like I, can see that, I guess I would I don't I don't know deep down Jonas if I if I can scam my way through it let's go yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just fucking do it yeah <laughs> but it always has to be on your own design because if I want you to scam through something you don't want to do it but if no! you want to scam through something <laughs> perfectly okay yeah I'm like dude why don't you just and you're like I'm gonna play it the way I want to play it and they're like yeah I'll be cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's all right though because you always got a scammer on your side, dude. I, I agree. Believe me, if you ever need to bamboozle an officer, oh dude, I'm a bamboozler. You can just call on y your boy. I am a wordsmith, <laughs> dude. <laughs> listen, compliments, dude. dude. This dude is just sucking his own dick. I, uh, <laughs> please listen. Continue. If I need, if I need to get some, if I need to get some shit done. A lot of times I can make it happen. Yeah, you ain't get out of that ticket that that one cop gave you. Yeah, that dude was a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't win them all, man. I know, I'm just fucking with but you. But like, I no, know. dude, I've had, I've had some major successes. I will, because here's the thing. I got Moxie. I will keep going, dude. Like, Jesus you want Christ. me to, you want me, you, I got to call you. I got to sit on hold. I got to get transferred. I got to tell my story again. I got to do it again. I got to do it a third time. Oh, but that's finally the person I need to talk to. Oh, you're not them? You can transfer me. But guess what happens at the end of that call? 
get what I want. Wow, that's that's some very that this is some very caring energy here. That, you know, it, 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 it's all good. No, you know what, Jonas? I saw it on Reddit the other day. There was a lady in the caption said, "This woman is using caring energy for for the greater good," and she was on her front porch like Black Matter, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, that was it was just really good. So you can use that that dark energy can be used for good. Yeah, that's all I'm we'll, saying. Well see here and here's the thing that I normally stand up for. It's not the injustice that happened to me. It's I want to I want someone there to accept that what they're doing is wrong, even if I don't get what I want. Oh. That's petty. <laughs> That is some real pettiness right there. I want you to understand that what you're doing is <laughs> fucked up and how people perceive you wow. and your company. And you are and a bad you, person. Once you acknowledge that, all right, cool. I'm yeah. Good. I hope you slip and fall in the bathtub. Don't hurt yourself. I hope it happens. <laughs> I hope you have a really big bruise on your hip. <laughs> so every time you sit down, you remember what happened. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm being I'm being very facetious. And, no, and you're not supposed to let him hurt yourself. <laughs> but uh, Jeez. but no, dude, I don't know. No, it's it's good, Jonas. I believe that you are very capable of handling yourself in a battle of words uh, with the Kmart <laughs> helpline. <K> <laughs> You know what's funny though is like <laughs> let me speak to your manager. I guess Oh, you're not the manager, let me speak to your manager. Oh, you're not yeah. Oh, you don't have I can't dude. I I can't I can't tell you that I have actually said to someone before <laughs> Why don't you tell me how much the ice cubes are worth? No. That is no. I've I've had someone be like that I go, "Oh, so I just happened to get a supervisor on the phone. No one there is in charge of you." <laughs> oh, Hold on one that's second. That's not going to work. <laughs> Hold on one second, That's sir. I'll not get you my work. supervisor. <laughs> I swear to God, my mom does that. It, it drives me nuts when she does. It's like every time I take that woman out to eat. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm calling out mamas. Wow. Mama. I didn't. I'm not that bad. Yeah, I know. It's just. Woo. I, I mean, you know what? I well, can't she'd even... be like, my. I like. I didn't like my bread. My bread wasn't like. She'll like just like the meal was the satisfactory. She'll like. Unsa yeah. She will definitely call them out and be like, I thought the chicken was overcooked. Like Yes. Yes. Something like that. And see, I'm the type of person where majority of the time I if if the meal is subpar, then I'm just like, oh, okay, you've gotten me this one time. I will not be returning to right. your establishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna sit up here and waste your and my time if you are <laughs> serving this type of food to your new customers. Or your potential future customers, right? Then you don't deserve my business, right? Exactly. And that's just the way my mind functions. So I'm just like, oh, click, you you turned off. You lost my money, phone. Right, right. Whatever. Once they've shown you they're not worth it, then you're just like, you're not worth yeah. it. Yeah. Right. So like, why? <laughs> but then this, you 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 don't suggest a restaurant that you know is capable of doing that. But I mean, if you can get the meal for free, get the meal yeah, for free. I've never been I'm the, not mad at I've it. I've never been the get the meal for free guy. Oh. Like I it, like I okay. Have you ever met a person that was a heavy in the meal get get the meal for free person? Uh no, not unless it was warranted. Okay. Like, you know, like they took 45 minutes to bring you something, you know, or oh. like, you know, just like I had I went one time I went with an ex to eat somewhere <laughs> and <laughs> They, Very descriptive. They uh <clears throat> they they like they they fucked up our order. Yeah. They forgot some of our order. Yeah. It took like 40 minutes to get our food. Um like it there was like five or six different things that were wrong. Like got forgot shit, brought us rot shit, like sh stuff was like undercooked. Just a terrible experience overall. And when I told her I was going to talk to them about how dissatisfied we were, she literally got mad at me and was like, how dare you be so entitled to go talk to them that they fucked up our food or whatever. And I was like, excuse me? Like, I feel that, like, they should have better service than this. They are a service establishment. Exactly. Like, if we went to Kmart, I'm not going to go in there and be pissed if their basketballs are flat. But if I go to fucking KFC and the chicken's raw, I'm going to be oh, like, why are you serving I'm raw not, chicken? Yeah, yo, I'm not eating this. I'm <laughs> right. never eating here again. Right. This could have this could have hurt me. Right, exactly. This could have at least like, cost me a day, a sick day. Right, at exactly. At the very least. Like, it's, it's, but, like, I was like, wow, that you're. 
Exactly. You feel that I'm entitled because I want to like stand up for myself and be like, Yo. we're paying seventy dollars for bullshit. Similar thing happened to me at a Burger King. Yo, I, I've never even told you the story, but this happened recently. I went to a Burger King and I got like a, a Whopper or whatever the fuck it was, and they brought it out and I was missing something. And I go in. This was like at the beginning of COVID, so I go in and I'm like. Yo, I've been, I've been waiting out here. You brought me the wrong thing. You know, like, right. what's up? And they're like, oh, I thought we already gave it to you. I had been waiting 30 minutes at this time. I was already late for work. Right. You're like, you're like, dude, it's a fast food restaurant. And the restaurant. lady got the, got the fucking gall to be like, look, well, that's not what you said. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. And I was like, lady, you think I'm just in here trying to fucking get you for burgers? You need to fucking make <laughs> My shit, man. I got so mad, Jonas. But you know, I got to know that I am a large black man, so I can't go too nuts. And I can get loud, all right? I get very loud if I need to be. I also get very loud very quick, too, and I don't realize it. It's only because I'm have i boisterous. And uh, you know what's funny is that, okay, so fuck Burger King. I haven't been back to Burger King. It's funny. Is that, so that's why you haven't been wanting Burger King. Fuck Anyways, with Burger King no more. Okay. They, fuck, they lost a customer. And you used, so, to, used to go hard on some veggie whoppers, too. lost the customer. <laughs> so, it's funny because, like, that whole, like, getting boisterous and stuff. I used to do that shit when I was a kid. And then, like, my mom would tell me, like, you're getting too You're getting loud. too. Yeah, right, right. Kind of So, like, I actually, I, I kind of, like, learned to, like, taper it right, off. Right. Just, so, like, most of the time I'm quiet. Like, you can barely. Like, I purposely speak quieter. But, yeah. If I get up there in my upper register, <laughs> Jonas, let's go have a screaming contest. <laughs> no. I want to see who screams louder. Let's Dude, go it outside. A, it takes a, yeah. Let's just yell at each other like we're about to fight. And the <laughs> I still hear me louder. Yeah. I think I'm louder. Yeah, dude. But no, I like. I pick my battles. Yeah. Because it's like it takes a lot of energy to get what I want. But like once I put my foot in the fucking sand, like I am like, I will. I'm like, no, that's fine. Give me somebody else. No, I'm lazier than that. I'm sorry. Yeah, but no, like I don't, but no, I don't very, very rarely do I fuck with food places as well yeah. because I don't want to send something back because I know they're going to spit in it or even, I just feel like they're going to, I would rather just like, I've had, I've, I've gotten food, not liked it, only eaten a very small amount, had the server bring me the ticket, notice I only ate like a third of my meal, <laughs> say, would you like a box for that? And, and me just go, nah, I didn't really care for it. And then offer to give it to me for free and be like, no, nah, I'll pay for it. I'm good. Like, what? Yeah. Like, I ordered it. I didn't like it. Like, it's a difference if the and food they was. they offer to give you a refund? Yeah. That's big of you. Okay. Yeah, dude. Well, because, like, it, it's di there's two differences. It's one, if I ordered it and it was ill prepared. Two, if I ordered it and I just didn't care for it no. myself. Okay. You know what I mean? Like it's one thing if like you send me a burger and it's fucking burnt and like the fries yeah. are crunchy. Bad or if, food versus just something that wasn't to your taste. Right, exactly. I like understand. you know, like yeah. if I ordered it and it's my bad, I'll pay for it, dude. It's cool. I don't know if I've ever ordered or if I can even think of something that I've ordered and I couldn't like at least finish it. Like at least get it in my <laughs> yeah, system. It, it hasn't it, happened often, but yeah. 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 It's, but that's also why I stick with what I know, man. I like what I like, and that's what I'm going to eat, dude. Yeah. Like, people are always like, well, why don't you try? I'm like, because I don't want to spend $40 on something that I might not like. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to spend 40 bucks and be like, oh, that tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> be like, yeah, if you, if you want to get it and share it with me, then I'll know next yeah, time. Yeah, because it's, it's always a gamble, you know? Hot take. Hot, what? Dude, when I go to a restaurant... I want to order my food and eat what I order. I don't want to. We each order something and we split it down the middle and share it. Oh, you don't want to split? Like, I don't want to go to a restaurant and be like, oh, I'll get the burger with mushrooms and Swiss. And you get the burger with bacon and eggs and we'll cut them in half and we'll each have half a burger of each kind. 
Jonas, I'm that guy. Are you? <laughs> I got giddy as soon as you said those two choices. I was like, hell yeah, dude. Well, I knew I said two things that you really liked. I was like, hell yeah, dude. Let's do that. Am I an asshole for not? No, you're not an asshole. Like, because like, when people ask you to do that and you don't want to, they get offended. Uh, They're I like, whoa, see... I really like doing that. Like, yeah, it's awesome. Like, say yes to yourself. <laughs> God damn right. Say yes to I yourself. I want a whole bacon, egg, and cheeseburger. Hey, get your whole bacon, egg. I'm not... Yeah, see, now, if you're dealing with an individual who can't handle rejection, I guess. Yeah. Because it is okay to be rejected and to handle that in an adult manner. Hey, you want to split burgers? Nah. Okay. <laughs> I'll just eat my own burger. I'll eat the whole burger then. Yeah, yeah. I but right. I do love split. But you know, he, and here's the thing. I say I don't like it, but every time it's happened, I've always been like, man, it was nice to have two halves. It have. was so nice, dude, because really you split them bitches into quarters, then you have four, then you have a the sampler plate. Yeah, dude, because like, <laughs> especially like if like one person gets a chicken sandwich and one person gets a burger. Oh, yo. But here's the thing. I always like one better, and I'm like, man, I wish I would have had, like, eight more bites of that burger. Instead, I had to eat eight bites of an okay chicken sandwich. Uh, yeah. See? So both people have to be in on something that's equally delicious. And that's delicious. the thing, too. Like, when I do cave on that, like, I'm okay with caving on that, but I'm like, I'm all right with doing that, but we have to agree on what we're ordering. Like, I'm not just going to let you go commando and get some fucking shit that I know I'm not going to like. <laughs> Commando, yeah, dude. like get a tuna sandwich. How do you <laughs> oh, feel about tuna fish? Dude? I like tuna. tuna. You like you fuck with tuna? I do. Yeah. What about only, like seafood? Only salad? because like when I was a kid, dude, my grandma used to always like have tuna at her house, so like a tuna uh, sandwich is good, dude. Uh, what about seafood salad? No, I don't do salad. It's, there's no. What do you? <laughs> tuna fish is salad. No, it's not. it is fucking salad. How dude. is that salad? It's fucking mayonnaise, man. It's all mayonnaise, and that's all salads are, are mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise base, and then you throw some shit in it. So you throw up some cream. You don't have to put mayo in tuna, that much mayo in tuna. Who the fuck doesn't put mayo in tuna fish? I don't put nearly as much as I used to. My grandma used to joke that I eat tuna, miracle, tuna with my Miracle Whip. <laughs> tuna with your Miracle Because I would put oh, a bunch of Miracle Stop. <laughs> Dude, no, don't say that. I had to cover my ears because I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up, dude. Because of Miracle or because of tuna? Please don't do that. I don't eat potato salad. I don't I've eat macaroni drinking. salad. I don't oh. eat uh, ham salad. I don't eat uh, chicken salad. I don't eat uh, tuna. Potato salad? No. Jonas, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Tuna fish as a salad. All right. Well, I don't eat potato salad, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I said seafood salad. Though. I don't like that shit either. Fuck that shit, man. Um, I'm very limited I on like seafood. I'm like very energy, limited on energy. seafood that I do eat. I like shrimp. Shrimp is good. Lobster. You I've ever eat, had lobster? I've started eating more fish, but I still <laughs> don't like all fish. Um, lobster. Crab. It it's okay, but like I feel it's a waste for me to get a whole one because I'll never eat a whole lobster. Like I would much rather. Who the fuck eat a whole? Uh, you get a tail. I mean, you, a whole lobster tail is too rich for me. Oh, like I like I would like I would much rather <laughs> you order a lobster tail and I take like two bites and that would be plenty for me. Yeah. Like or like fit or like crab legs. Like you order crab legs, I have like a crab leg. You know, and I'll get like shrimp scampi or something or you know or whatever i i'm just not big on seafood the consistency and the taste is a little weird for me lobster is very rich dude, i love lobster and now that i think about it i really want to have lobster again i haven't had lobster in a you while you can get some grub hub of red lobster lobster i, don't know tail. If I want a grub hub red <laughs> lobster, lobster tail and filet mignon i just that feels a little off to it me. doesn't it what you get oh i grub up the lobster tail and some crab <laughs> I just feel I'm not paying full it price takes for that. Forty minutes to get here, be all rubbery. No and way, shit. I'm paying full Cold. price for that. Yeah, exactly. They Ew. they got to knock something off. You of know, that. lobster don't hold heat very well. <laughs> you know the, what I do like though is longestinos, which are like little baby lobsters. Those I don't think are, I've ever had those. those. Are really good, like clay like street crawdads. No, they're they're called. They, they had them. The only place I've ever eaten them, and they probably have them at other places, it was clay street uh, inn, out on forty five and. Uh, Clay no. Road out no. in Austinburg. Not familiar. It was long as they come. They're like little baby lobsters. That, 
<laughs> it's almost like little lobster bites, and they come with butter, and you dip them and eat them. They're pretty good, Ugh. but they're expensive. Ugh. See, now you just made me think of crawdads. No, those, dude, I don't do that. And they have the eyes and shit, dude. I don't want to yeah. see that. I don't want to see that. While you're talking, I'm going to look up what, exactly what longestinos are. I just think that, <laughs> like, uh, most seafood is all right, though. Like, I, I love crab, but it's just, like, getting to the meat is, like, a fucking chore. Lobster is pretty good about, like, flavor profile versus, like, <laughs> effort have, you have to put for, forth. So I really do like lobster over crab. Shrimp is all right. Uh, peel and eat can suck my dick, though. Fuck peel and eat. I want to just eat the whole thing. Yeah, when I buy shrimp, sometimes I buy shrimp and make it at home. I buy the the deveined peeled shrimp so I can just cook them and eat them. Like, yes. Because like, I don't want to have to li- pull the shit out. I don't want to have to crack the like tail Like the frozen up. ones? Yeah, they're frozen, but yeah. Walmart sells one bag of small shrimp that are deveined and deshelled. And they're maybe like the size of like a quarter, fifty yeah, cent piece, small. and that's great. That's fine. That's plenty. I don't There's, need the jumbo boys. Yeah, it's still shrimp. I'm not yeah. looking for prawns. But I don't want. I don't want the ones that are the size of like a dime. Those little like salad shrimp they yeah. sell. I don't want that shit. But um, yeah, dude, because I don't want a big. Because like the consistency is weird on shrimp. Like so, if you get the jumbo and you try to bite into it, it's like it's you get too much of that gelatinous. In yeah, your, it's your weird. Mouth. Dude. It's a little too much. I uh, feel what you're saying, but I do like shrimp. Yeah, longestinos. Uh, are the meat of the squat lobster, which is neither a true lobster nor a prawn. Exactly. So it's like they're closely related to porcelain and hermit crabs. Yeah, it's not even real. Yeah, so it's That's kind of like that uh, imitation crab that they put in a lot of stuff. I mean, it's a real animal. Yeah, I mean, it's a real animal, but it's just just not real lobster. It's kind of like that imitation crab that they put in stuff, which is just a totally different... Look look up what imitation crab is, actually. Because I know it's it's a totally different fish. The imitation crab they put in those those sushi rolls? Some hot shit. (laughs) But it's not even crab. It's just like a fish. How was the uh, imitation crab... Roll from Walmart, by the way. Did I have an imitation crab? Yeah, roll? you bought one. I looked at him before, and one time I saw it in the, uh, in the. Wow, I don't know. I assume it was pretty good. I mean, I ate it. I mean, you I, didn't. You didn't go. I will never eat that again. So I imagine it's. No, I probably wouldn't say that anyway. Um, but I have had imitation crab. I like imitation Surimi. crab. Surimi. Uh, it's made of starch and finely pulverized white fish. Surimi. S u r i m i. Yes, white fish. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So yeah, it's not even like it, nothing's real. <laughs> I mean, it is called imitation. Yeah, yeah, but like you know, I don't know. I don't even know what the point of that is. Uh, <laughs> is because it's cheaper than real crab, so you can be poor and eat it. It's probably even like way cheaper. Oh, it is real, way cheaper because whitefish is common, and they just like put like a red stripe on it. My mom used to get imitation crab sticks, and they would eat them. We were poor, dude. I used to do that, too. Yeah, dude, dude. yeah, yeah dude. Five. Yeah, ba bop And they don't even have to peel them, dude. They're just there. Yeah, it's just, it's just... like a cheese stick, but with crab, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, no, with whitefish. Yeah, with whitefish, dude. <laughs> whitefish and, like, what was it? What was the other thing? Pulverized. Yeah, but it was pulverized with something else. Starch. It, it, oh, so just starch and fish. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's, that's how it forms into a two, <laughs> into a cheese stick, dude. You could peel it, just eat like eat white fish oh, strips, yuck. dude. Just chomp on them, be like num, 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 num. Yeah, it makes it kind of gross. Now that I think about it. it's like just bread curd and yeah, dude, white fish. Yeah, dude. It uh, pulverized is like when you turn it into a paste. Yep. <laughs> it's like that video where they take all the chicken parts oh. and make hot dogs, and they're like, kids, you want to eat this? And they're like, yes, yeah. yes, I love goop. <laughs> I'm I a watched, big fan of goop, though. I watched that, that show when it was on TV. That was the Jeremy Cowell experiment or something like I've that. I've never Jer- seen it, except for that one clip. Jeremy Kennedy. He was essentially like this British guy that was trying to bring over a uh, healthy... He had changed the diet in the UK in their schools that to the point where the government had actually passed that they have to start serving healthier meals in their schools. Oh, okay. And he was attempting to do the same thing in the States at the time. So it was like, you know, a big deal. It was a big deal. They gave him his own show and he was going and every, you figured like everybody would jump on board. And no, then dude, you America, saw that episode. Uh, America's about making money, dude. They're not about health. <laughs> it ain't even that. 
It's like the American people ain't jumping behind this dude to clean up the, the food for the kids because they don't care. The kids like, don't Look, care. I'm going to go to McDonald's. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> it's gonna eat chicken McDonald's nuggets, bro. is fucking scary. Like, have you ever seen any of those videos where people are like, I put this Happy Meal on a shelf in my garage for five <laughs> years, and they open it up, and it looks like it did the day they served it. There's so much preservative in it that it doesn't even mold. Yes, 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 yes. It just literally gets hard. Yeah. That's it. No bugs on it No whatsoever. bugs. Like, yeah, fucking maggots won't even go eat this food, dude, and we're smashing it down, dude, getting double quarter pounders. Well, when it's hot, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> right. MSG, bitch. <laughs> I don't think. Well, yeah, there's probably some MSG in it for sure. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's that's nuts. Blew my mind. Yeah, yeah. The fries are just. I've seen the fries last for like years. Yeah, dude. They just. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, we've all had a dirty car with like you pull a McDonald's bag out and there's just some fries in the bottom. You're like, oh, that's been in here for a while. And they we'll just look eat that. Bitch. Oh yeah, dude, just, <laughs> just, just pop that stir bitch my right coffee in. with it, dude. <laughs> nah. So uh, find yeah. some ketchup. Find a ketchup packet in the seat. Oh, uh, dude, that's hot. But uh, mm. anyways, that's all the time we have for episodes of part done? two of Fuck It, Do It Live. Hopefully, uh, this isn't trash and everyone stops listening. <laughs> Doesn't stop listening. You got it. Calm down, brother. It'll be all right. I'm sad. They're not going anywhere. They love us. They better not. Do you love us? I'll come to your home. Wow. For the threats, Jonas. That's how you keep a relationship. But yeah, we uh, will catch you here on the next one for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we uh, are uh, oh, Fuck duh. you up.